In this segment of Family Accounting, we'll review using the Batch Billing Box function to quickly add a contract or formula to many different billing boxes at one time. Let's first do a scenario where we're applying a contract to a particular age or classroom of children. I want to filter those children first, so I'm going to go to Accounts, click on my filter, and say Filter by child when viewing visible accounts. I only want children who are enrolled, let's say as of today, and I only want children in the primary classroom is kindergarten. I can count them if I want. I happen to have four. I could just as easily have 400 or 40. I'm going to exit out. My filter is set. Now I can go apply the contract to just those children. I'm going to go to functions, Family Accounting, Batch Billing Box, and we're going to do Contract Billing. There are my children. You'll notice this one child, Kelly, is on two different accounts. That's why they're coded as pink, so that you don't accidentally double bill the account. This is an example of a divorced family. Let's say I want to do a weekly cycle, and I want to do the tuition kindergarten. Maybe my typical is 140 and I'm going to say apply to all, and I want to change just the one on the divorce family so that I'm not double charging. I'll charge $70 to mom and $70 to dad, whatever way you want to split them up. I'm going to click the apply all here at the top. All of my families are checked. I'm going to say save. Five items, four children were saved. I'm going to exit. Here's the billing box, and here's what I just added for just the kindergartners. I added the line tuition kindergarten. And if I go down to this account, you'll see that Peg is being charged 70 and Al is being charged 70. Okay. Next, we're going to do formula billing. So a good example of a formula bill might be a late pickup charge for an after-hours pickup. In that case, I'm probably going to apply it to all of my children. So I'm going to clear the filter I had done. I've got all of my children here. And now I'm going to go to the Functions, Family Accounting, Batch Billing Box. And this time we're doing Formula Billing. The formula name, I happen to have one here, After Hours Pickup. It charges a dollar a minute after, uh, I think it's 5 p.m. You can modify all these. The charge that I want to appear on the ledger, I'm going to hit L, is late pickup. And I'm going to apply this to all of my families, except keep in mind that the families that are divorced, you probably don't want to apply the same formula to both parties. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to just say Peg is the person who usually picks the child up. So I'm going to flag everybody and I'm going to uncheck Al, so that the formula does not apply to Al. In the case of the contract, we're splitting it, but in the case of the late pickup, I'm doing it just for Peg. And I'm going to click on Save. 27 were saved. Two are still showing because I did not put that towards Al. And exit. And right here, now when we go to the billing formulas for each child, you'll see that the after-hours pickup formula is applied. And that's all there is to it.